hello guys welcome back to pentaco tutorials in this session i would like to explain about the conditions when you are running transformations after including in the job if suppose if you want to evaluate any simple condition so how you have to do i will explain so here if you see there is a section called conditions you can include all this okay i will be using simple evaluation over here so before executing the job you can see check db connections check file is locked check if a folder is empty these kind of checks you can include when you are running a job or transformation now simple evaluation if you see here i have already dragged into my workspace and here basically evaluate there are two options one is field from previous result and variable so for now i am creating a variable sorry i am using option variable so if you see the set variables this is a sample transformation that i have used and data grid if you see only one value for country this australia and i am setting it to set variables okay the country uh, field name and the variable name country okay and this will be valid in the root job now i will go back to the evaluation so in order to get the variable value i have used set variables at the beginning of my is available across this job moving forward now i have also run simple evaluation and i have selected variable as evaluate condition and variable name of course you have country but you need to supply dollar and dollar sign and this is the five string so if you see here success on section is available so success condition you keep you if you see drop down list available if value is equal to if value is different from if value contains not contains start with not start with ends with not end with and regular expression and also list not list so for now i am using equal to so if value is equal to australia then what happen there are tick condition and in, into mark right so which means this is when condition is true then the flow will go like this to the success and when the condition is not matching then it will go to the red mark okay which means it will abort the job so since i have set the value as australia so if it is the variable is also australia then what will happen condition matching right so the flow will be forwarded to success which means if you have any further uh, transformations to be executed the flow will go like this so you can set a condition kind of thing like you can set boolean values you can set some date values and you can compare also and based on that evaluation whether you want to continue with the flow or not so let me run this yeah if you see the flow is moving towards success now i will change a value here because in the evaluation i have included australia but now i will come to data grid i will change value to value has been changed now let's see what will happen because our expression expectation is to uh, go to the about job because it is not meeting the criteria when you run this transformation yeah, you see here it is not moving towards success it went to about because the value is not matching so this is how you can implement uh, simple evaluations in your job level and check whether file exists or not and evaluate row number in a table maybe it's up to you and also you can use wait for if you would like to wait for some seconds you can also use this wait for and table exists whether the table exists in the particular database or not if table exists you can continue the flow if it is not existed then which means you can uh, abort it so this is how you will perform basic conditions here before executing the job so this is it for the session. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. I will be posting more videos on Pentagon. Thank you very much.